This song is dedicated to Mike Pence. One, two, three, four. Yeah!
told to be soft. I'm a little at the convent and we are here with tall women today hey guys it was a pretty good performance pretty good, pretty good. i enjoyed it thoroughly Solid. i haven't seen you guys before but it was good was I, I liked it and uh you guys are heavy i like it a lot but um <laughs> how, how did the band get started should we talk to me yeah yeah just, you can talk <laughs> at the microphones individually i was in a previous band called manhunter man tall women anyway um <laughs> And I needed a bassist, and I put out an ad, and and um, she answered it. We just liked each other, I guess. That's it. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. Wait, you put the ad out on Craigslist. Was I did. I just specifically said, right, girl. And she, like, jumped on it. And she came by the house, and I said, come down to my basement. We'll, we'll play some songs. <laughs> nice. I was like, today's the day I die. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of good stories do begin with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's be a right girl. Uh, influences. Queens of the Stone Age. It's <laughs> a good influence. <laughs> Dope sweater. <laughs> that is literally what they told me when I was Did like, they, like, they really? jam with them. They was like, I was like, what do you guys really listen to? He was like, Queens of the Stone Age. What? Well, yeah. Weird. One particular song. <laughs> just one song from Queens of the Stone Age. It was just had like a really cool drum part. <laughs> if you could pick one band right now that you said like, this is the band that I like listening to right now. What's that one band I'm listening to right now? It's Dilly Dallies? Dilly Dally. I'm listening to that today. So that's one band. Next. Bad brains, right? <laughs> well, that's um, bad brains. Like Fish my all-time favorite band. Susie and the Banshees. Yeah, I've been listening to Susie and the Banshees pretty obsessively lately. <laughs> Has a lot to do with Nirvana, and also like probably the weird alt rock and metal I grew up listening to. Helmet. Helmet. Can we add yeah. another one? Yeah, what I was gonna say is when I saw them as a duo, I was like, man, it's like Helmet and Nirvana fused together and then had a female lead and i was just like that's great that should happen <laughs> i'm like i'm so glad this is happening <laughs> i want to be a part of that <laughs> i feel like there's there's a there's kind of been like a political thing going on with the band was that is that just something that's always been there i think as of recently especially with like the recent election um I, even beforehand we wrote like a lie before the election happened and then and after pig. the election happened we kind of switched up afuera to have me sing some of the vocals as well as david and it was like the, probably the day after the election that we had me start to sing the verses and I felt kind of compelled to make it just feel like just in light of the protests and the things that were happening I wanted to capture that and I also like I said this in like hilariously the first interview we ever did that I want to create like a safe space for ladies to come out and like hit men in the face yeah, and fucking hit men in the face and like be a part of the mosh pit and just like have fun and have like a safe place to be. And I like I want to create more of that environment where ladies are more welcome to be a part of like the hardcore scene. I think it just comes from experiences like um, you know, Cassie being queer and me being um a brown man, man. And just like that that whole experience of what it's like to be sort of a little bit outside uh looking in.
Yes.